One thing you mentioned with um the Arc GPUs, I I'm not surprised that they work a lot better on Wayland. Like, I it it does make it it makes perfect sense. It make, yeah, it makes sense. Like, I Wayland is the direction. Look, I I, I look. We get into this topic every single time. I, I every time I talk to anybody, I have to get into the topic. Wayland I mean, is the direction the we're Wayland going. Advocate. It's happening. We we all know <laughs> it. Whether you like it or not, it's happening. I mean, it, it's happened for me, at least, because, you know, I bought the Arc GPU and I realized that my screen freezes every three and a half seconds. Uh, let's try this Wayland thing. Hey, it magically works. What are you actually <laughs> uh, running on your desktop at this point? Uh, so I have been playing around with with jumping around all across all the different Hyperland compositors I possibly could find, uh, which includes ones that, are, that haven't seen an update in like two years, which, you know, surprisingly still compile and work. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, Waymonad is actually pretty interesting. The only reason I don't you have a video for it is because... I, I, just, I heard you said Hyperland compositors. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I have tested Hi Hyperland. Hyperland yeah. is just WL roots at this point. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, just but, taking you know, over everything. The funny thing about Waymonad <laughs> is that Waymonad is actually very functional and mm -hmm. actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. But it's built against a version of WL roots that you have to recompile the old XDG portal for, which, by the way, w that version of WL Roots does not support the WLR portal. So there is no screen capture on that one. Ah. <laughs> so that's why I haven't posted a video what? on Waymonad. Yeah, why did you... Wait, I'm sorry. Why are you even trying out Waymonad? It was uploaded, uploaded like four years ago. Uh, It's free and open source software. I will do whatever I want. That's fair. You can do that. But I'm just <laughs> confused why, why that one. Uh, because, you know, I, I honestly think that the Xmonad project mm. should probably look at it because it is Xmonad for Wayland. Mm -hmm. Almost quite literally. It's just that uh, they basically just need to rewrite it at this point just to get it on a modern version of Haskell and modern version of WL Roots. It's mm -hmm. not going to be a small task, but, you know, the example is there. Right, right, right. Because I know when they, uh, they initially did have a look at it and they just wanted to, like, scrap it and sort of start over again. Yep, and that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But you think it's at, it works as a baseline, as sort of like a, a bit of reference material about like what a a Wayland version of Xmonad could be like? Uh, yes, I, I honestly think so. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, uh, I don't know Haskell programming. I've only ever done any programming in like very bad bash scripting and Lua. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Mm-hmm. So what other what other W Roots compositor did you try? Uh, I have of course tried Hyperland. Sure. Uh, I posted a video on that one. I posted a video on LabWC, which LabWC, if you're like an open box fan, uh, give LabWC a look because it's, it's literally open box for Wayland. Mm -hmm. It's not Waybox. Waybox is more true to that, but uh, LabWC is still maintained. And uh, the only thing that's real that that's really different is that. Uh, LabWC respects GTK themes. It doesn't necessarily directly support like the old open box themes, although you can use the open box themes with it. Okay. It would just translate the open box theme into a GTK theme. Mm -hmm. So uh it and uh it's one of the few uh dedicated compositors for Wayland that ju just straight up is a GTK compositor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if if you're looking for like that floating experience, uh that's that's where you should go. Uh that's uh, the only thing that I have that uh, I have verified in like a commenter on the video I was verified is that the dynamic menus don't work. But how many people actually use the dynamic menus on OpenBox? Dynamic menus being what? I don't. Use uh, so OpenBox works off of a right-click menu. Sure. You and uh, you can edit edit the menu. You can add whatever you want. So a lot of people just put like that menu as like their application launcher. <laughs> Sure. And uh, you and on OpenBox, you can script it so that way you could get like your MPV status or your MPC status, or I mean MPD. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so like you can get your music playback progress, or you can get it to like post like RSS feed updates for you and hmm. stuff like that. It it's actually really cool. Like actually, uh, DistroTube DistroTube's config makes use of it in a couple scenarios. Uh, so uh, if you haven't looked at that, might want to. Play around with it, you know, mm. uh, because you know, OpenBox is still a fantastic window manager even to this day. It's just, uh, just remember that it hasn't seen an update since two thousand eight because you know, Xorg. It doesn't matter. Sure. Wait, is it, I'm sorry. What? Wait, hold up. It hasn't seen an update since two thousand. What? Yeah. Because OpenBox was declared feature complete in two thousand eight. 
All right. Yeah, yeah that, that's. I fair. mean, if it's if it's declared feature complete, then the only thing that you need to work on is just stability and security patches. Well, it's a window manager that runs on runs on Xorg. So, <laughs> does security really matter? Only if you launch Xorg with root. So, if you just don't launch it with root, then the security doesn't really matter that much. So then the only thing that you're working with is stability patches, which, you know, Openbox has 10 years prior of just nothing but stability patches for it. Seems so like it's the, super stable. Seems like the last update was 2015, which was a add include of Cairo.h when using lib svg. It's so like very much a minor, yeah, update version 3.6, add missing file, merge, minor branch, all of this is like very, very like minor, minor changes in here. Update yeah. your Norwegian translation. Add yeah. When was the Galician. Uh, when was the last time a a a feature was actually directly installed uh, added? Uh, let's see here. There's a commit here. Update my email address in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't see anything like super featurey. It seems a lot more like maintenance stuff, just making sure shit still works. It seems like it might be a couple of bugs that are getting addressed here and there, but like nothing like actual featurey. Yeah, and uh that that is that is the wonderful work that uh you know corporations have put into Xorg just as a proof of concept right there. This is my favorite commit. Commit double space. Just removes it. <laughs> random double space. <laughs> Just removing random double space. Here's the syntax fix. <laughs> Beautiful. The best kind of commit. I'm. I, I. I am. I am a happy child. Whenever I'm looking over a Git log and I see something like that, I'm like, "What's this commit? Oh, let's look at it. that diff file. Is it's only changing a single character." And the funny thing is, when you're messing around with a programming language and you see that commit where they're adding the missing comma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because Lua is table based and every table has its own index and they and those index separators are commas. And a comma is such a tiny character that it is easily missed. Especially when you delve in other programming languages that don't require commas in their tables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks Python. We love Python. Python's such a great language. It is a fantastic language that I will never learn. <laughs> I have no reason to, so why would I learn it? <laughs> uh, to stop using Bash script for everything and use Python instead. Uh, my Bash script is only like two lines long, so That's fair. why? That's fair. Fair point. <laughs> uh, to use... What's that? What's that Python? Qtile. That one. Qtile. Oh, I, I guess that would be the most Python I would ever write, which, you know, I've had people request I do a Qtile video. Mm-hmm. 